Crew members Ellie and Max are engaged in a heated discussion in the kitchen. Initiating initialization sequences. Greetings, customer! This SAM unit is unable to locate your registered information. Would you like to register your Sam? Registering new owner, Captain. Sam units live to clean and clean to live. Maximilian! Vicar! Vicky! What? Shoot, I... Something on your mind? I find myself marveling at the... Something vexing you, Captain? The Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. Can we talk? Yes, you caught me ruminating again. Guilty as charged. What's occupying your thoughts? I've been thinking on that. There's a former so uh, infamous philosopher scholar who fled Terra II some years ago. He's an expert on Bakonu. He's also who told me of the journal's presence in Emerald Vale. If anyone in this colony could translate that book, it would be him. The only one I'm aware of. I suppose we could always just ask random passers-by if they are fluent in it. A thousand pardons, my good captain. I thought we were engaging in witty repartee. Now, as far as tracking down this scholar, we should start on the Groundbreaker. It's where I'd go if I wanted to get off Terra 2. Great place to pick up a ride to Hephaestus, Scylla, even Monarch. All I need is access to a data cartridge from the security terminal. Their easily hackable system keeps a registry of all crew manifests for both arrivals and departures. I'll comb the last six months of departure manifest to track the Philosophist's off-world destination. Thank you, Captain. 
Please avoid damaging yourself. Self or other. Have either of the assault teams? a moment to look into that little opportunity I told you about on Roseway. You don't hurry up. Someone will get to snooping around there before you do. What's that? Speak up now. What'd you turn up? My stars, what a find. Fine picking like this deserves an equally fine payout. Go on, dearie, and don't spend it all in one place. Bless your slippery little fingers. Isn't that just a shame? Prototype schematics go for a fair handful of bits around here. Pardon me, sweetheart. My old ears must have misheard you. Did you say wrapped it on? Gracious, someone must have hauled them off Monarch. Naughty, naughty. A couple of folks around here might pay a fair few bits for this. Might even be able to start a bidding war. Are you positive? Honest to goodness? Can't say I wasn't hoping for more, but I suppose it can't be helped. Law bless you for doing the legwork, sweetie. Don't forget your pal Gladys now. You can come visit any time. Fantastic. Do be careful with it, dear, as these keys tend to be a tad hard to acquire. You should have a chat with Lilia Hagen in the sublight offices. She's a tear. You'll love her. Now, was there anything else? Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Rizzo spent your life. If you're here for this week's magazine club meeting, you're a touch late. What do you want then? My hard earned wisdom? That's right, dearie. The only independent station in the colony. That's us. Though for how long, I can't say. That all depends on Miss June Lay.
This is Halcyon. Rizzo's Lemon. Not your whole family tonight. <laughs> So far as you know, I'm not drinking on duty. Nothing there.
mechanicals all over, but they still got us sweating to move boxes. We move cargo 16 hours a day and half of us still can't afford a bed. Hey, we don't know each other yet, but I'm Felix Millstone. I was in the middle of a little discussion with the local authorities when you passed me by. I noticed your ship in port, got to thinking you might be looking for some crew, so I wandered by, just to take a closer look. Gotta hand it to you, boss. That's a fine looking ship. Only thing it's missing is me. Yes, I absolutely am. Just give me a shot, that's all I'm asking. I could be the best damn crew you ever hired. You're serious, you're giving me a shot. All right, uh, hang on, hang on. I put together a little speech, just in case you asked. Hey there, I'm Felix Millstone. I have prepared a list of reasons why I believe you should hire me to join the crew of your ship and or outlaw gang. Firstly, I am highly personable, and I get along well with anyone who is not of the jackass persuasion. Uh, secondly, I can be counted on in the event of a firefight, standoff, and or raid. My motto is, if you need a steady gun hand, I'm your man. That motto is a, it's a work in progress. Additionally, I have several years of experience as a box hauler. This skill may come in handy if you need a body dragged away or a door held open while escaping enemy fire. In conclusion, Thank you for considering me for your ship crew and or outlaw gang. I look forward to our adventures together. What do you think? Am I in? Sure, an interview. That sounds fair. I mean, first time for everything, right? Ask, uh, it's delicious. Mock apple pie and a triple kale crust. Maybe with a little cream on top? Classic. Foreman told me my biggest problem was that I didn't take orders. I told him my problem is not with authority, it's with jackasses. So yeah, I guess my biggest flaw is that I don't suffer idiots. Hope that's not a deal breaker. Are you kidding? I love a good fight. One time, I took an autoloader's head clean off its servos with one swing of a tossball stick. You can count on me in a scrap, boss. That's a promise. I had this foreman, right? Guy never liked me, always trying to get a rise out of me. But I keep my chin up, right? Be the bigger man, I tell myself. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the chosen beat my rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky high foreman and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. Wow. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Thanks, boss. You're not gonna regret this. Somehow, I always find my way back to the groundbreaker. Whatever you say, boss. I'll see you back there.
Back for a rest? Space adventuring is tiring work. Got it. His name is Reginald Cheney, and he joined a sublight salvage crew. Only he's not listed on the return manifest. Must have made landfall somewhere he wasn't supposed to. Ah, uh, yes. Here. There's a domicile on Monarch in Fallbrook, rented to the same bitcart he used to buy his seat on the salvage ship. I should have guessed. What better place to lay low if you wish to avoid the authorities? I admit it was a bit of a long shot, but when you've spent as many hours as I have in contemplation of the universe's secrets, you sometimes get a sense for these things. I could spend hours. So, tell me what's on your mind. I excel at confessional listening. So, how's this work? Do we get a table, stand in a corner? Okay, so what are we drinking? You're the expert. Oh, and don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just do it proper. That's fruit and such, right? Okay, mine it is. Bottoms up. Wow, this is really kind of nice, actually. Who'd have guessed old fruit could taste so good? Oh, Captain, I'm pining for June like something fierce. What am I doing? I mean, just... With Junlei, I don't know what to do about us. Well, she talked about another girl, right? Isabel. Mentioned her by name and everything, like she wanted me to know. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. I don't know, I'd call it, uh, sensual. That's a lot. It did. Oh dear, I hadn't really... Oh my goodness. And I told you? It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad. How a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think June Lay still has feelings for her? Well, maybe... Maybe she just wanted to let me know her preferences. In a less awkward way. But that made it more awkward. I, I need another drink. Right now, before I lose my nerve. <laughs> Come on, Captain, I'm here to drink. Okay, maybe you're right, I am a little woozy. Hydration, here I come. Oh, Captain, 
I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but... I'm so scared. Um, everything? I got a solar system's worth of terrifying questions swirling around my head. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we... we get together and... she gets bored of me? There's nothing easy about... about spilling your guts to the person who's got your heart in their hands. You know I'm not interested in physical affection. That's... Well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later, she's not? What if I can't make her happy? Yeah, yeah, I know you're right. I just wish it were that easy, is all. I'm not used to speaking free with folks. Back in Edgewater, there wasn't no one who wanted to know my mind. Excepting my dad. Gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think... ungenerous thoughts. Well, I suppose so, but... I, I want to be my best self for her. A good person, worth caring for. Well, Captain, this has been... This has been a whole lot. I got just... Wow. So much to think about. Oh, gosh, I... I don't know, Captain. Do you think I should? All right, all right. There's no need to strip your screws over it. Okay. I, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask June out. Just as soon as we get back to the ship. I mean, probably. Eventually. Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. And, well, <laughs> for being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. Come on, let's go. from the last is down on 22. Crew members Ellie and Max are engaged in a heated discussion in the kitchen. Hey, Captain. I hope I wasn't too much bother at the bar. I did have fun. And I tried some things I never would have otherwise. Some of the drinks we tried I even liked. I guess it's not all disgusting. And I don't feel it today. I guess that water must have worked. I'm glad I had you looking out for me. I messaged Jun Lei when we got back and she replied super quick. <clears throat> okay. I was awake half the night, thinking about what I sent, anxious to see what you said. I reread my message in the morning, and it was unclear. I was drinking when I sent it, otherwise I wouldn't have had the courage. Also, sorry for the typos. I've ruined things in the past because I didn't say things I should have, like... I've met someone who's become special to me. I want to be honest with her, so if she feels the same about me, there won't be any surprises. Oh, isn't she sweet? Like one of those two-bit romances where one soul's all stiff and formal and... I should be glad to perhaps take hold of your hand, miss. I ought to go write her back. I mean, I already did. 
choice. <laughs> but anyhow, thanks for taking me out, Captain. <laughs>